guys, look at all the shit I bought. I'm literally broke right now. Look at this. I have Shein. I have Pretty Little Thing. Shit from AliExpress. I have two Pretty Little Thing packages. Like, bro. Sapphire here and today we are back with another video and I just wanted to let you guys know like I am wearing a different shirt because this is the next day I filmed the video I, tr I filmed the try on portion I just didn't like how it turned out like you could hear like a lot of noises in the back so I decided I'm just gonna refilm the video so that's why my shirts are different well today guys we are going to be doing a long awaited video i've been waiting a long time to do this video i've been waiting like a month and a half collecting all these packages to do this huge back to school try on haul okay so i know that not everyone is going back to school some people are going back to school and others are just doing remote learning i don't know what i'm doing yet i'm doing i picked the mixture of remote learning and in-person learning but we don't know what's going on nothing's set in stone yet so i did spend a lot of money i think i spent like over six hundred dollars on all of these items and i wanted to show you guys everything i got um this is going to be a long video so Grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and I don't want to make this intro too long, so let's get straight into it. So the first place we are going to start with is AliExpress. This is actually my first time ordering from AliExpress. I ordered three things. The first thing I ordered are a pair of red fray slides. I've been seeing these slides all over Instagram, and they always price for like $40, and I really don't want to spend $40 on a pair of fur slides, so like I went on AliExpress, and I found them. I remember I got these in a size 8, even though I should have got a size 9, because they are a little small. I tried these on already. They are a little small, so I definitely should have got like a size 9 or even a size 10 so they can last longer. I don't think these are going to last to the next summer. Okay, guys, I am so, so excited for these jeans. I seen Diara from Diara and Ken have these jeans on her Instagram, like the jeans with the chains on the side, and I just thought these were like the cutest thing ever. It's such like a statement piece. And like you guys know I love like having statement pieces in my closet because you can really wear this with like a basic shirt and some basic shoes but like the jeans like do so much already so like you don't even have to like overdo it but I just think this is so cute because I never seen anything like it before until I seen Diara have it and like she's another person that I look to for fashion inspiration so when I seen these jeans I was like I need to have them but these are like I did try these on. These are tight. I got these in a size medium. I should have got a large. But the reason I got it in a size medium is because a girl, like, in the review, she posted a picture of the jean she got, and it was a small, and they looked kind of big already, so I thought, oh, yeah, medium will fit me. But no, that's not the case. My thighs are just suffocating a little bit in these jeans but it's okay it's okay i'm still gonna wear them so they're cute and they are flat at the bottom which is another cute detail i think that's better than like the skinny leg personally but again i got these in a size medium and these were 20 dollars. i was really disappointed in this jacket because it was really small like i literally i'll try i'll, t I'll try it on for you guys but I got this jacket in a size large, and this jacket was $24. It was like $24 or $6, something like that. And the sleeves are just mad tight, and like I didn't think it was gonna be that tight because I usually order like a medium of coats, but like this jacket, like I can't breathe. Like, so definitely if I was gonna wear this, I would only wear it for like a hot 20 minutes and then take it off because like this is like uncomfortable. Like, I can't move, but it's still cute. Like, it's just a cute little fur jacket. It's pretty long. It's cute, though. I like it. It's just really tight. Sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through stuff. I just have so much stuff, and I don't want to make this video super long and super boring. So, the next place we're going in is Fashion Nova. I only ordered one thing from Fashion Nova, and it is this white long sleeve v-neck shirt this shirt is really cute really simple you could wear this with anything it goes with anything i got this in a size medium it's the london tee and this shirt was i think twenty dollars 
Yes, this was $19.99. But the thing about this shirt is I wanted a white v-neck. I would have just ordered a shirt like this on Shein. But Shein, a lot of their white stuff is see-through. And I wanted like a really good long sleeve white shirt that isn't see-through. So I went on Fashion Nova. And it's double lined in the front. So you won't see your bra in the front. But in the back, it's not double lined. You see how thin it is in the back. So you're definitely going to see your bra. But it's okay if my hair is down or if I have a jacket over it, it's not going to be a big deal. But... It's still cute. Like, I really can really pair this with anything. Oh. Okay, next place was Amazon. Amazon, um, Amazon was quick, too. The, the shipping was really quick for Amazon. I didn't mention the shipping. AliExpress, the slides took about a month and a half. The jeans took three weeks, and also the coat took three weeks, which is really good for AliExpress. Fashion Nova was quick. Fashion Nova is always quick shipping. But I seen this skirt on Pretty Iceland. I love Pretty Iceland. I always watch her videos. Need inspiration for outfits and stuff like that. Definitely go check her out too because this is where I got like this white skirt idea. Because like I just started getting into skirts. Like I was never like a really big skirt person. So this is just a white skater skirt. I got it in a size large. This skirt was only $12. That's why you go on Amazon because you get everything for much cheaper. I was looking everywhere for a white skirt and all of them were like overpriced. So I was like Amazon next best thing. But this is cute. Simple. It can go with anything. Next place we are going to be looking at is Doll Skill. Dolls Kill? Dolls Kill? I, I think that's how you say it. I don't know if it's yeah, it's Dolls Kill. I don't know why I say it wrong. But I never ordered anything on Dolls Kill before. I was really worried about the sizing, but I was looking at a couple hauls, and a lot of people said that they do run small, so I decided to get a large in this baby pink, I don't know, velour um, sweatsuit, tracksuit, whatever you call it. So First, the bottoms. The, this tracksuit was $52. And I originally was going to get this tracksuit on Baddieville, but they were sold out. So I found out on Doll Skill, next best thing. And I think the Doll Skill one was cheaper than Baddieville. But. So basically, this is just a cute little um, jogging set. They do have pockets, and it is um, scrunched at the bottom, so it's not like a flare leg um, pants. It's like dust all over the place. It's cute though, like it's soft and the material inside isn't the same material on the outside so it won't make you sweat if you guys were worried about that. And the reason I picked it up was for the jacket part. Let me zip it up so you guys can see it. Okay, so this jacket part, it's like cropped and it's scrunched here. And it has like a, I thought I seen an outline. Oh no, they don't have it. Oh, like here it's stitched like for the outline of your boobs. I don't know if that's what it's for, but like I noticed that and like that's what I think it's for. But I don't know. And then it has the hoodie and the strings. It's really cute. It's really basic. I mean, the color might not be that basic. But for me, it's like pretty basic. If I don't want to really dress up, I could just throw this on with some Air Forces. And that would be like a really cute look. Next, I ordered stuff from Pretty Little Thing. I made two orders. Pretty Little Thing took about a week and a half to get to me. And also, Dolls Kill took about five days. Which isn't bad at all. But I made two orders from Pretty Little Thing. I'll show you my first order. So the first things I ordered was I got this like this jumpsuit. It's really it's kind of see through, like you could literally see like right through it. But like I plan on to wear like a jacket with with this or like a flannel. And like I have something similar to this like from Fashion Nova, but it's like strapless and its crop is like high water. It's like the legging part, but this one's like full like goes down to your ankle. It has the strap and the V cut, and I just think it's really cute. This was on sale. It was originally $20, but I got it for $10 because everything was 50% off. Doll Scale also had a sale. It was 20% off. I don't know if that's still going on, but it's cute, basic. I have a gray one. I should go back and get the gray one, but I don't know. I got to stop shopping. I got to. I'm done with it. Next, I just got some joggers. I got two pair. I don't have a plain black pair of sweatpants. Like I have like Nike ones, but I don't want any sweatpants with the logo on it, so I just picked up a pair of black joggers and these are kind of see-through just a little bit but nothing crazy like you're definitely not going to be able to see as long as you wear the right underwear like you're good you're gonna be fine and i've been trying to get more into nudes and like beiges and stuff like that i told you guys that already in my day in the life video so i just picked up these joggers and these joggers are a better quality than um are better quality than the other black joggers I just showed you. Also, that jumpsuit was a size six, 
if I didn't say that. It's a size 6. And these sweatpants are a size 8. I could I could have got like a size 10 just so they can have a baggier fit. But like I think they're still cute. But I'm saying these are better quality because they're thicker and they have the drawstring inside of it. So if you want it to be tighter around your waist, you could do that. But they're cute. Comfortable. And I have a lot of shirts that can go with these sweatpants. So I'm excited about that. Next and next i think this was this was the first pretty little thing order i made this is just a red crop puffer jacket it's really cute it's already on a hanger because i hung it up already obviously and it has pockets right here it has a silver zipper and it has um this thing at the bottom where you can make it tighter around your waist so like wind won't just like you know because i fucking hate when that happens when wind just like goes up your jacket that's why i like wearing long jackets but like I couldn't pass up this and I don't have any red jackets like like actual like coats surprisingly even though red is my favorite color this jacket I got it in a size 6 and it was $30 but that was I think I got a half off I got it for cheaper than that but I don't remember but I know it was $30 Full price. I mean retail price was $30 two more stores to go through so next I ordered some stuff from Ulta, this is actually stuff I needed. Like, I didn't really need any of these clothes, but, like, this stuff I actually didn't need. So, I'm just going to go through everything real quick. So, first, I got this contour stick from Wet n Wild. It is in the color 805 Call Me Maple. So, I want to start getting more into contouring and learning how to do it better. So, I just picked up this contour stick. So, I didn't mention before, like, I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm so unorganized, like, with, like, the pricing and stuff like that. But I want to tell you guys how much everything is. So, if you are interested in getting it, you know already. But the sweatpants from Pretty Little Thing, they were $38. But I got them from half price, so they weren't really that much. It was, I think it was four something. I know it was under five dollars. Then I got um, two concealers. Wet and Wild. I think it's Medium Tawny. I get it so much. I kind of I remember the name already. Yeah, Medium Tawny. And I bought two, even though I already bought one like a while ago. Like, and it's unopened. I never used it before, so I didn't really need to buy two. I could have just bought one. But together, this was eight forty eight, I believe. Then again, eyeliner. You guys know this is my favorite eyeliner and the only eyeliner I will wear. It's the Mega Liner Wet n Wild um, color block, obviously. Obviously. And again, together, I think this was... I don't know how much this was together. I think this was like 6 7 around that price together. I don't know how much they're in individually. Then I got this Essence Shine 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 What Look lip gloss and to go with this i also bought like a nyx um lip liner in the color um let me see espresso because i'm gonna i've been seeing a lot of girls like do like the brown lip liner with the clear lip gloss and i feel like that would look really good on me so that's why i picked up two products two of these products this lip liner i believe was like five dollars and this one was also like five four dollars so all this stuff is really inexpensive and then i am so tired of buying anastasia's um beverly hills um eyebrow pencil because they're over twenty dollars and i'm like i'm tired of spending so much money on an eyebrow pencil so i wanted to find a cheaper version so i picked up the wet and wild ultimate brow marco brow pencil and i got it in the color i think dark brown it doesn't say it on here i already opened it but i got it in the color dark brown let me see and it, it's basically the same like it's the same concept it has the brush at the end too so like and i know this was like four dollars so if i'm if this doesn't work good then i'm going to try out the nyx one because the nyx is another inexpensive one that i could definitely try out so I'll let you guys know how I like this pencil. Last place we're going to be checking out is where I bought the most stuff, which is Shein. Let's get all the accessories out of the way first. I've been getting into eyelashes. I'm not wearing eyelashes right now, but I have been getting into them. And I got a, another pair of eyelashes from Shein. I didn't even open the other one I got from the last Shein accessories haul, but I already put this in a bag and I ordered 
this package like three weeks ago not even three weeks i think it was like a month and a week like she and took longer than expected but i also ordered like 25 items so like i get it but i just i just ordered a pair of these eyelashes it comes with five in a pack and i like how they look so that's why i picked it up again and those were two dollars by the way and then i just got this it's like a Cuban link necklace. Obviously, it's not real. It was $7. A lot of this stuff was um, cheaper, too, because I used a 15% off code. But I'm telling you guys the retail price. But it's just a cute little choker-like necklace. I think this is really cute. And I plan to wear this with, like, a turtleneck. I think that would look really good with a turtleneck. And then, like, ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait until it gets cold. I'm so fucking tired of this heat. It's so hot. Next, I ordered a pair of white socks. Um, let me take one out so you guys can see it. They're really, really long. Look how long these socks are. I originally wanted the Nike socks, but every time I go on Foot Locker or Finish Line or Jimmy Jazz, they're sold out. So I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'll just get the Shein socks. So they're just really long white socks. And I don't even have to wear these with just Air Forces. I can wear this with like a lot of other sneakers and stuff so i'm really excited to like start putting outfits together with like socks like this because i like that trend that's going on right now and the socks were like five dollars next i got a pair of headbands it's in this big bag i'll go through all the colors with you so it's a 14 piece i'm reading what's on the laptop it's a 14 piece um set oh my god maybe i shouldn't keep this in here and it comes with so many fucking colors. Let me go. Okay. So you have this light green, this baby pink, this baby blue. You got like a lilac color, uh, another baby pink, like a, a fuchsia, then a purple, orange, baby blue, kind of like a darker blue, black, yellow, red, and white. So you get all these headbands for $4.50. And I really like wearing these headbands. I feel like these headbands will look really cute with like the skater skirt skirt. Like that. That's a look. I can't wait to wear that. I just want to go back to school to dress up. Like that's honestly the only reason I want to go back so I can wear all my new stuff. So next I got um another hair accessory. This hair accessory was $3.50. And it's just these two focus focus these two diamond clips i think this is really nice especially if you have like a bun in your hair or like a like a a slick back ponytail and just like clip it right here like once i take my braids out i can't wait like i really gotta take these braids out i'm so tired of them but they're just cute and they're inexpensive too i should have got more but, you know i just wanted to try them out I got a pair okay these are the underwear that i plan on wearing with the jeans because you can't wear underwear like i mean the only kind of underwear you can wear with those jeans are these and that's because of like the clear strap on the side so i got these in a size large and i think these underwear these underwear were only five dollars and it comes with two in a pack you get a black one and you get a beige one and these straps you can adjust can you adjust these I think you can, yeah. And then you can, um, I don't, I mean, I don't know why you would want to do that, but they can unclip too. But like, this is, that's the only reason I bought these underwear is to wear with these jeans. And I didn't want to buy like an expensive pair because it's not like I'm going to wear the jeans all the time. So if you need like clear strap underwear, Shein has them. And expensive too. Okay, next I got this pleather jacket. I was so, so excited to get this jacket, bro. I got it in a size small, and this jacket was $25. A lot of people were saying it ran big, so that's why I sized down. I was going to get a medium, but I tried this on, and it fits perfectly. It's cute. It's simple. It has, like, the buttons right here. And it's not, like, too shiny where it's, like, doing too much. And it has pockets, too. Are these fake? Oh, no, they're real pockets, too. It's cropped. That's another reason why I really liked it because it was a crop jacket. Like, I like statement piece jackets. Let me try it on for you guys. Look how cute this is. This isn't even cute with like the bandana that I'm wearing. But this is cute. I'll show you guys. Cute, simple look. 
Again, I was giving like the turtleneck vibes, like a turtleneck with this on. Bro, an all black outfit. I don't know why I want to pair everything with a turtleneck. Like I just like been feeling turtlenecks lately. It's so weird. Next, I got a pair of joggers again. These joggers were in a size medium and they were $15. These joggers are on the see-through side, so you have to be careful with what kind of underwear you wear with them, but they're still really cute. I mean, for $15, what do you expect? But they're scrunched on the bottom, so they're not flared. I really don't like flared sweatpants, like especially like it just like throws off like the whole vibe like I just don't really like them like that but these are cute simple red again I told you guys I really like red so you're gonna see a lot of red in this haul next I got this sweater I think this sweater was the most expensive thing that I bought from Shein I think this this sweater was $28 and I it was a one size fits all sweater and I tried it on and it actually fits but I don't think this is going to be able to fit everyone, so they're definitely lying. It's not a one-size-fit-off. Because, like, I feel like if you were really, really small, smaller than me, like, this would be, like, way too baggy on you. And, like, it, it just wouldn't look good. So it definitely isn't a one-size-fit-off. They should have just made regular sizes. But I've been seeing this sweater everywhere. I mean, people have been had this sweater. I just never bought it. This is cute. It's, it's thick, too. So you could tell, like, by the quality that this is definitely more expensive. Next, I got a pair. What is this? Oh, this is just uh, a shirt I bought. I thought this was really cute because of the detailing. Um, it's like Asian inspired. Inspired. Why can I not never say that? Asian inspired um, shirt because it has like this right here. This it, that's what it reminded me of. Like I'm not sure, but it has this on the on your chest up here and then like the collar i mean it's not that i thought it was like a mini like up here it's not a full turn like it's like a shorter one and i don't think this shirt is cropped it doesn't look that cropped it's long sleeve it's cute it's black so it's gonna go with everything simple basic and i like it i was really excited to buy these these shorts because they have the lace at the top and at the bottom like I'm not gonna sh show the lace at the top but the lace at the bottom like is really what made me like want to get them because then like I could wear like an oversized graphic tee and then put this on that's cute bro that's so freaking cute I'm really excited to wear these oh my God. and I already ordered a pair of black um, biker shorts from Shein but those shorts were the material I don't really like the material for that one but it's whatever it's so cute I ordered Shit, I'm flying through that shit so fast. That was a size small, by the way. I, those were originally $8. Those. So there were a little bit more than the regular black ones, but that's only because I had the lace. Alright, so now I ordered two pairs of shorts. I ordered a pair of gray washing machine, and I, I literally wear them all the time. So I went back to get some more, like, baggy shorts, but these are, like, a different material. And these are also cheaper, so I got a black pair. The black pair were $7.00. And I got them in a size medium. They have a drawstring that actually works. So that's good. It's not a fake one. And they're really comfortable. They're a lot more comfortable than the gray ones I ordered from my older Shein haul. Because the gray ones are a little bit tighter on my thighs. But these are like really loose, which I like. Then I got like a pink color. I thought I could wear. I've been, I really like pink. Like another color that I really like to wear is like this color pink. And... I don't know. I think these are cute. And they have pockets. I don't know if I said that. They have real pockets. And these were also... No, these were cheaper than black ones. These were $5. And I got them in the same size and a medium. I don't know why I keep ordering white crop tops from Shein because I already ordered like three. Like I don't need any more. But I got another one, guys. But this one has straps. The last one I think had like that little V thing. It had like a V neck cut kind of thing. So I wanted like a more basic one. This one was only four dollars and I got this in a size small. I could have got a medium honestly because it is a little tight. So like if I am going to wear this I probably won't wear it with a bra or like I'll wear it with like a strapless bra obviously. But I don't know. This one's really short too. So next we have a graphic tee. I was really scared about their graphic tees because they're oversized shirts because some of them run really big and then others run like like you know basic like they're not too bad they're not too big to the point where like it doesn't look cute and you can't wear it but i got a red and black dragon shirt 
oversized t-shirt. I got this in a size, let me check for you guys. I got this in a size small and it was $7. I remember this shit being a lot more expensive. Like I thought this was like $10. I don't know, maybe with the sale it was different, but this shirt was only $7. It's really cute. I plan to wear this like loose, like with a pair of biker shorts. But like if you really want, you can like tie it in a knot too and wear the pair of jeans. Like whatever you want. Like this shirt is so versatile. You can wear this with pretty much anything. And I really like it, so I can't wait to wear it. Next, I got this crop top, and I really like the way it looked. It says, I'm I'm pretty girl. I really like what it says, and I just like the design. It kind of reminds me of, like, the bags that you get from, like, restaurants. Like, usually I see it when you go to Chinese restaurants, but, like, I don't know. Maybe other restaurants have it. But, like, I just like how it looks in the front. I got this in the size small, small and sure was only $5, so that's good. It's cute. It's not that cropped. Again, red. I could wear this with a red denim jacket, a pair of jeans, and like some boots. Oh my god. I can't wait to wear this stuff, guys. You don't understand. Like, I haven't gone out. Like, I've gone out and I dress up like sometimes, but not as much as I used to and I miss it. So, I need to go outside again. Okay, this shirt, I got it in a size medium, and I'm glad I got it in the size medium. Because I feel like the small one wouldn't be as oversized as I wanted. And I plan to wear this shirt with the beige joggers that I got from Pretty Little Thing. That's a look. I can't wait to wear that. It's going to look so good, bro. This is so freaking cute. And this shirt is kind of see-through. But I don't really mind. It's like there's such a, there's a big print in the front that you're not even going to be able to tell. So it's okay. So you could definitely wear this shirt right now because it's like so thin. Which is good. But this shirt was only... I think it was, yeah, it was $8. I'm not trying these on because they didn't fit. I got a pair of gray biker shorts. I usually get my biker shorts in a small in Shein, but they, I guess these ran small and they didn't fit. I definitely could have got like a medium or even a large. So next time I'll order bigger ones. But this is just what they look like, so I'm just going to give them to my sister. These were only $5. Now, the last items are all pants. So I just got this like... These like lightning, it's like blue, white, and black, and it has like a a string right here. It doesn't work. It's just for show. And but they're still cute though. These pants, they make a lot of noise when you walk. They're definitely gonna make a lot of noise. But like the style, it's okay. Like they're cute though. So like I don't really mind if they make a lot of noise. These pants were ten dollars, and I got them in a size large. And they're cute. Like I like how they look. Another statement piece pants that I could wear with like a basic shirt. And they're cute. Then I got these trash bag looking pants. I didn't think these were going to fit, but I tried them on and they fit perfectly. I got them in a size medium. They do have, oh my god, this smells, they smell so weird. Oh my god. I They originally were $17. I paid $17, but now on the website they're $13. But... This is what they look like. They have the stretch here. And obviously the material on the inside isn't the same material. They were really, they were kind of hard to get on. That's why I didn't think they were going to fit. But like once I got over my thighs, I was like, yes. They're cute. Another thing, I would wear this with a graphic tee too. And like this bandana, like that's cute. Can't wait until it's cold. I love the cold weather because that's when like I pop out with my outfits. Okay, so next I got a pair of Distress Slant pocket button fly baggy jeans i got them in a size medium and they were 22 dollars these are really good jeans guys and i'm learning that like usually shein i'm more of like a medium large girl in jeans i'm surprised i'm not a large but shein their jeans run kind of big in my opinion so that's why i usually size down so i get a medium in jeans and in both skinny and like mom and boyfriend jeans but these are really cute it has a whole bunch of rips here and then they have one little rip in the back let me show you guys you can't see it i don't know if you guys can see it i don't know where it is oh it's right here bro where's the rip okay maybe they don't have a rip in the back i don't know but they these jeans fit really nice and they're comfortable so next these are kind of similar to like the pleather looking ones but these are like more subtle like these are very thin, but these were only, I think, yeah, these were only like $9, so like, you know, you get what you pay for, what you get what you pay for. Yeah, that's what you, how you say it. 
Bro, I don't know. You get what you pay for. So, like, and they're really short, guys. So, like, if you're, and I'm short. I'm only 5'2". So, if you're taller than me, these are going to look weird on you. Like, I can probably get away with, like, wearing it with boots. But these, like, hit, like, my ankle. Like, the mid, like, the top part of my ankle. I don't know. It's just, these are really short. So, if you're taller than me, these are not going to work for you. But they're still really cute. The last two things I got were two pairs of jeans. These jeans were both, okay, the dark wash ones were 18 and light wash ones were 19. And I got them in a size medium. So, I don't really have any jeans this color. So, that's why I decided to pick them up. And they do fit, which is good. They have, like, the rips in the front. They have, um, the thing, I did have to cut the hole for, like, the button because it was a little bit small, but, like, that wasn't a big deal. Okay, this one has a hole in the back. Then it has a hole right here. It's cute. The back looks cute. I don't know. I think they're gonna look good. And then, finally, the last thing, I just got a light pair. Nothing much different. They're exactly the same. They're just... A light pair of jeans well guys that's it for today's video if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that bell to be notified when i post new videos and subscribe of course like comment share with your friends follow me on instagram all my social medias and my email and stuff like that will be in the description down below i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video what I'm do with the video but i'm just letting you guys know that I was going through all my old videos and I had a lot of copyright videos so I was going back and I was changing like the music and like the audio and everything so if you go back in my videos and you see like the music is switching like on and off like from different songs like that's only for copyright reasons.